controversial. Hype was a key word whenever Madonna appeared, and we were there to document her year. Madonna is facing up to another controversy this week over her song, Justify My Love. The latest cause for concern is her use, in a remix of the song, of a line taken from the book of Revelations, chapter 2, verse 9, in the Bible, I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. The line has angered Jewish groups in the States who have called on Madonna to withdraw the single, which they say insults the Jewish people and amounts to racism. Madonna has replied with this statement. My message, if any, is pro-tolerance and anti-hate. The song is, after all, about love. The video for the song was considered too raunchy for most TV stations in the States. And when the dust settled on that problem, she released a remix that included the introduction, I want to F dot 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 you. Now, Madonna's second American single from the Immaculate Collection album, Rescue Me, has shot into the US charts at 15, making it the highest debuting single in 20 years. It was helped by her US record company's last minute decision to put out Rescue Me as a single, weeks after the song had gathered enough radio airplay to boost its position on the chart. There are no plans to do a video for the song at the moment, and the single has not been scheduled for European releases yet. Meanwhile, Madonna's 1985 hit, Crazy For You, has re-entered the British charts at number two. In an interview published in this month's Vanity Fair, Madonna reveals a more maternal side. I long for children, she says. I wish that I was married and in a situation where having a child would be possible. She also goes on to talk about the forthcoming documentary of the Blonde Ambition Tour. Truth or Dare, as it's called, features Madonna without makeup, in the nude, and even a scene where two men kiss passionately whilst Madonna looks on. That's my favourite scene in the movie, she says. I love that people are going to watch that and talk about it all night long. I live for things like that. Madonna's performance at the Oscars may have been upstaged by her choice of escorts. I didn't have a date for the Academy Award. And Michael was like, well, who are you going to go with? And I said, I looked at him, I said, I don't know, you want to go? Madonna's documentary film of her 1990 blonde ambition tour, Truth or Dare, is causing controversy already, despite not being released. The two-minute, ten-second trailer for the film has been given an R rating by the Motion Picture Association of America. This means it can only be seen by people under the age of 17 accompanied by an adult and can only be shown with films of the same rating. Many of Madonna's underage fans will therefore not be able to see it. American critics are surprised at the rating, as the Truth or Dare preview contains just four bleeped out swear words and no sex, nudity or violence. The film itself looks set for a May release. Despite having only just got this one in the can, Madonna is already considering possibilities for her next film project. Apparently the favourite right now is a female cop buddy movie with Demi Moore called Leader and Swan. The film had to be postponed as Moore became pregnant, but she should be ready to work on it by the autumn. There's also the possibility of a film biography of the celebrated modern dance choreographer Martha Graham, who died last month. Madonna, in an exclusive interview to be published this weekend in Q magazine, talks candidly about the background to her new film, Truth or Dare, and her relationships. One myth she puts aside is her reputation for rampant sex. Everyone thinks I'm a raving nymphomaniac, that I have an insatiable sexual appetite. The truth is, I'd rather read a book. Madonna also talks about safe sex, describing condoms as such a drag. It's like, wait a second, do you have a rubber? I think I've left them in my coat. Then the worst thing, they say no. They're not great, but they make sense. They've saved my life. But Excellent. This week saw the American premiere of the film, which was shot while Madonna was on the Blonde Ambition tour. And on Sunday night, she hosts a party in Cannes to premiere the film in Europe. I mean, Dad, I'd love it if you'd come to both shows. I don't know. I mean, it's... It's pretty racy in some sections. I don't know if you could take it two nights in a row. Oh, gee, I had to get racy on me. Dad, I'm not getting racy. I've been racy. I know, but can't you it down a bit? What, for you? Yeah. No, because that would be compromising my artistic integrity. Well, of course. You, you undress in this performance? No. Oh, God. Of course I don't. OK. Well, whatever you guys can get us tickets for. Dad, I can get you tickets any night you want to come. Uh, you're watching the footage of this, and you see yourself in it without makeup, and you're wearing this little shower hat and stuff. Did you think, gee, should I be doing this? I mean, No, I said, ooh, I look really grody good. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that be good? Well, because everybody has a preconceived notion about me, you know? Because I love to be glamorous and stuff. But, mm -hmm. I mean, to show 
other dimensions, you have to sort of be willing to get down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> I would kill to have just one of her balls, and then I'd be happy. I think she totally abuses the system, and that's beautiful. I like that she has no inhibition, that she just does what she wants to do. Anyone that comes into this insane atmosphere, you realize they all feel it when they come into this atmosphere. When they come into your dressing room, when they come wherever you are, they feel crazy. I think everybody's curious, and I think it's a really good piece of work. Well, I think people understand what it's like to, to you know, be that successful and be under that kind of scrutiny. All right, so is this a big night for you guys? Obviously, it is. Have you been partying already? Well, it depends on how involved you want to get in her. And in terms yes, of, the question is, is it a big night for you? You know what I mean? I think Madonna is the first female to really um, be in control completely in control and, and put across whatever image of self she's wanted to. Can I show you this thing? Because you were out of town when you said I know, I know. Is this guy amazing? Like... Yes, I am a trap. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm proud of it. She's like so internationally famous and she's a great mega superstar. They say that you can't do the masturbation scene tonight, otherwise you'll be arrested. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I'm changing my show. You see her in a very flattering light and other times you see her being human and, and upset or bitchy or whatever. Alex told us that there's about 200 more hours of footage from this movie. Is it ever going to see the light of day? Well, wow. well it's not a 200, what, 200 more hours of footage. Well, well I'm, yes, the next, I'm going to give it another year though because I want to make it under the cover of the post again next year. <laughs> Madonna's success. What is it about her? She's a smart woman and she's beautiful. She reveals so much of herself, which is wonderful, and yet she doesn't lose any of her mystique. And yet you come out of the theater feeling that you know her better. It's a wonderful experience. She's a, she's a strong, smart, charismatic woman who's constantly thinking. You can see her thinking all the time. And um, she's kind of sexy, isn't she? And she's kind of beautiful. And, and, and um, she's quite a woman. Madonna is able to let go. There are times when she behaves in a way that perhaps if she was completely in control, she wouldn't want to for people to see. And I think in this movie, you see those candid sides, you see those candid moments. He really cares about me. She was uh, uh, yesterday a little nervous, you know, because when she went up, it was marvelous because it was like the old can with Gina Lolo Brigida, with Brigitte Bardot, etc., etc. But when, uh, after, when the movie started, she was not very happy with the subtitle because the subtitle were white on white, you know, and also because the French had not the same reaction than in New York, you know, because French, we are a little slower, you know, because we have to read the subtitle. So when there is some jokes, you know, when there is some funny thing, you know, we have to read. So the times that we read, we start to laugh, but already something else happened, so we cannot laugh. So she was like, my God, they don't like it. Yes, very much. Oh, my God, my God. Wait a minute, wait a minute. 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 The singer has signed up for her next feature film. She'll be playing a member of a 1940s female baseball team based on the story of a real 1940s all-women league. Although she's never played baseball before, Madonna auditioned for her role following tuition from the coach of one of New York's university baseball teams. And since getting the part, is reportedly practicing her swing for up to 12 hours a day. In the wave of Madonna mania that is sweeping America, following the release of Madonna's documentary film Truth or Dare in Bed with Madonna, 
comes the merchandise. Two board games based on the film could be in the US stores later this year, one for kids and a rather racier one for adults. Madonna's film has also stirred up a nationwide truth or dare craze, with many university campuses and nightclubs holding truth or dare nights. The author of two highly controversial biographies on Michael Jackson and Diana Ross, J. Randy Tarabarelli, is now set to put pen to paper on Madonna, who having bared her soul in her documentary Truth or Dare in Bed with Madonna, must have left very little else to discover. But both Tarabarelli and Putnam Books feel differently. Tarabarelli has signed a six-figure deal with the publishers to write the biography by spring 1993. The biographer has a rough road ahead. Some of Madonna's employees have signed non-disclosure contracts, which prevent them from talking to the press for 50 years after their employment ends. But Tarabarelli refuses to be deterred, saying that Madonna's business is his business now. As for Madonna's reaction, her press representative, Liz Rosenberg, replied, We're really scared. Not. Rumour has it that Madonna may be considering an offer from Playboy boss Hugh Hefner to bear all for his magazine, an issue she would have complete editorial control over. Following her semi-nude appearances over the years, in among other things her own documentary film, In Bed with Madonna, where she's seen topless on several occasions, readers may wonder if there really is anything left of Madonna's body to discover. We'll keep you posted. Madonna has rushed to be at the bedside of her critically injured brother, Anthony. He suffered serious injuries when he fell off his motorcycle and is in the intensive care unit of St. Vincent's Hospital in New York. Madonna was working in the Midwest of America when the news broke. Her brother Martin tried to launch a rap career, calling himself MC Ciccone. The funk master, lyricist supreme. Ask me where I got it, I'll say it's in my jeans. Madonna is at the center of a huge political storm in Pakistan. The Queen of Pop has been invited to perform in Pakistan by the country's Minister of Culture, causing widespread condemnation from Islamic fundamentalists and even calls for the resignation of the government. Forbes magazine estimated that Madonna was the fourth highest paid performer in show business. I'm gonna press this thing. I'm gonna press power. When I press it, the camera's gonna go off.